Petro de Luanda oh. is the only Angolan team we've seen representing Angola right. in the last four seasons. Right. Uh, I guess we could say the same for uh, Cape Town Tigers, uh, uh, City Oilers. City Oilers. Yeah. What does that say for the local leagues when there's only one guy, one king that is coming to represent on a continental tournament like this? Sometimes what it looks like, it looks like, you know, the it's kind of like it's it's not fair for the league, right? So you'll have a team like a City Oilers or, like you said, a team like Cape Town Tigers who maybe has a little bit more resources allocated to them and just has the ability to pull more weight to be able to get these other uh, players these from, this, from, from the, from other the teams, outside. Right, yeah, right. to kind of, I wouldn't call it poaching, but poaching, you know right. what I mean? Well, it is you know? poaching, Yeah, yes, in yeah. essence, right? Because you can now build this super team from within the country mm -hmm. under our badge. In essence, mm. um, but what it shows me though is that the the leagues might not be as healthy as we might wish that they could be. Mm. Uh, you got Petro is, is another great example as well, mm -hmm. where we never hear about any of the other uh, teams yeah. from the Angolan leagues. But granted, Petro has performed well throughout the tournament. I would say last year probably was their weakest performance, but this year they made up for it and then some to be able to win it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would always love a league similar to the Egyptian league where you have Zamalek win oh, season the one. Rwandan league. Rwanda league, absolutely. Yeah. Rwanda has had three different teams absolutely. in it, which shows me that it's a very healthy, healthy league, league. Yeah. Right. you know, because you, you can switch you the top. Yes. There's, there's competition. Yeah. When you have one person or one team winning every time, it doesn't really look that great for the league. So, absolutely. Yeah. But I think this also feeds into what the mandate of the BAL is, right? It's to groom more young talent. Um, we're now seeing a circumstance where I, I, as BAL expands and as BAL continues and grows, we're seeing different teams take participation because I, when it comes down to it, as you mentioned, rightfully so, it's a resource thing, right? If we look at, I can easily speak, for example, South Africa, basketball is a very elite sport. Um, and so it's easy for our Cape Town Tigers to continuously be the team mm -hmm. that will continuously be in BAL. But as basketball becomes gains more eyeballs and gets more attention, yeah. you're starting to see uh, lesser resource teams mm -hmm. step into that light. Yeah. So you, you, do you, are you saying that next year we might see another team make you know very make their debut? It's, it's very, from South very, Africa? it's very, very possible. Very I, I don't know if it'll be, you know, them knocking off the Cape Town mm. Tigers. But it's very, very likely that as we see more eyeballs and the fact that, that we now have an entire conference being hosted in South Africa, right. that for me only means so many other teams are now like, wait, 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 I want that spot. Right, right, I want to yeah. be able to play in yeah, that right, spot. Right, yeah. uh, Mokbil, again, going to the winners, we'll talk about the final game, but Petro de Luanda has always had almost the same cast of players mm -hmm. right. year in, year out. Mm -hmm. Um do you believe they have the capacity to I get guess groom more younger players? Because coming next year, we might may not be able to see the same. You know, again, these are mostly yeah. national team players, right? Players. Right. right. I, I I think that they can simply because this year, what it showed me was that this year was the handing off of the baton mm -hmm. from the Carlos Moraes and the John Pedros mm. to now giving the keys to, to the, the Chil Goncalves, Ch Ch Goncalves mm. and, and Childe Dundao. Mm. The younger guys now have the reins as well as sprinkling on the the Nick Faust and the Cummings and some yes. of these players because this is something that Petro has not done in the past. Absolutely. They've kept it to themselves. You really didn't have any outside talent. Mm -hmm. But this time they're saying, look, this is a this is a BAL year and this is a BL league that continues to have a plethora of different players why are we not going out to you know get these players to be able to assist us as well absolutely we've seen Faust Faust scored the most points for the team uh -huh. yeah. he came off the bench and really started lighting it up offensively he got them kick started Cummings also had about 20 plus points as well so th these are guys that really worked within their system and didn't look like they were out there for themselves, but they worked within the system of Petro. So I can see Petro keeping another one or two guys, maybe even, bringing, even bringing these two guys back potentially right. for next mm -hmm. season. Absolutely. If 